So this is a second video about forms in Django and in the previous video we discussed more basic details of forms in Django and um, we did more of an overview of how to use them and in this video we will go more deep into details of forms and form fields and working with templates and stuff like that so the first thing that i wanted to show you is that you can bound your form so for example now this form is unbounded it means that it doesn't uh, receive any uh, values so if we open this page we can see that uh, we have this input here but it's empty because the form is unbounded and for example here we bound the form with the uh, post request but we can actually send some particular data to our form for example in our form we have one, only one field for now its field is name and we can actually specify that name should be John in the beginning for example and now if we open the page uh, we can see that this field was bounded because we have bounded this form and this is the first thing that I wanted to show you the second thing is uh, in the previous lesson we work only with one field but of course there are different fields that you can define uh, for example you can define boolean field and if you open the page now we can see well it's a little bit uh, not really good in terms of uh, the design let's uh, maybe set required to false to just have better design here and we can see that we have now our boolean field and <clears throat> there are more other fields uh, and there are more options that you can uh, that you can see in api guides of course i can't really go through all the uh, form field types and all the options here because it would take too much time but you can uh, take a look at the api and you know if you are really interested in that you can go through api the other thing that i want to show you is that for example you might want to have a field like that like field for biography of the student with a really big length 10,000 uh, max length and you can open it and let's again set required to false just for better design here and you can see we have here our um, very simple input field you know we can uh, actually take a look at the page source and you can see that it's just a input type text here and if you have very big information to input here of course it's uh, really uh, not convenient way to do that and basically uh, every field every type of the field has associated widget uh, with its field we can actually change this widget we can uh, save the char field but we can change the widget in order to uh, uh, ch change the type of the input in HTML and to do that we write widget forms and for example in our case we need text area widget and now let's open the page and we can see that now we have actually text area here and if we need to write a lot of information we can do it more conveniently here and we can take a look at the page source right now and we can see 
now that we have not input here but actually text area. And that's what I wanted to show you about fields. And now let's go to a different topic. The last topic is uh, working with templates. So I have our template here. It just uh, returns form, simple form. And there are different ways in which you can actually return form here. For example, you can return form as P, then all the fields will be wrapped in P tag, like this. You can see it here. But by default, it's uh, represented as table. And we can see it here, the table text. And if we delete this S table representation, we can see we can still see that nothing changed. It's still table representation. Uh, of course, if we work with table representation, as we have to define form text here, we actually need to define table two. And in this way, we can actually see the table here in the more, in the better design. And you can also represent table, represent form as UL here in order to see mark the list. And you can also, and you can also not only represent form in some in some particular way, but you can also just take a particular field of the form, for example, name field, and uh, show only name field. You can also show label of the name field, for example. And there are different things that you can receive from the field, for example, table, or, for example, label, label tag, which is which, uh, the same here. Uh, we can receive ID for label, check the value, which is John. We can check HTML name here, its name, uh, help text for example, which is nothing here because we don't have help text. And we can see even errors if we have any, but we don't have any right now. And we can check if the field is hidden, the field is not hidden. And if you work with uh, this kind of representation, if you want to represent each uh, field of the form manually, you can actually iterate for form, for example, like this. So here for each field of the form, we wrap the information in div tag, field wrapper, and we uh, display errors, label tag, actual field, uh, help text, and things like that. And now we can see that we iterated uh, for the form fields and displayed each field in the way that we want. Basically, that's all I wanted to show you about forms here in this video. We'll have uh, more lessons about forms, so stay tuned. And uh, 
also I would like to ask you to please uh, give a like to support me because I put a lot of work in these videos so please put a like subscribe uh, post a comment it would really mean a lot to me so thank you